Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate you guys uh, for bearing with me. Um, I was just down here working a little bit and getting some content and stuff out, and I was listening a little bit on first take where um, Stephen A. Smith goes deep in on Dak Prescott um, about his comments where I don't play for money. And I want to respond to it, but you need to hear it, uh, the discussion um, to understand at least where we are. So if you hadn't heard, Dak Prescott basically said that, um, to, to, to summarize, listen, I don't play this game for the money. Um, I let the, my business people take care of it to figure out what is fair compensation for what I do. I fo- basically saying I focus on the football field and I let the rest of the stuff take care of itself. And he's under no pressure one way or the other. That's why he pays Todd France to do that stuff. Now, people, of course, will take this at he's just greedy. He should be taking less money. The thing that I find funny is as we're in this age right now where quarterbacks are getting paid. Understand, he's $40 million. I believe there's 13 players right now that are getting paid more per year than he is. And understand that the number is always going up. Jared Goff just signed his $54 million a year deal to be number two behind Joe Burrow. You have Tua, who basically rejected a deal and wants one just like, say, Jared Goff's or maybe a little bit better. You've got Trevor Lawrence, who's also in that mix, as well as even Jordan Love. So the reality is, is it may be 55 is the ceiling at the moment. By next year, it's going to be more like 65. And so you're getting paid today at the top of the market, but a couple years from now, it's going to be less. And so it's how they structure it is how it's going to help or hurt the team. So that's what the the situation was there. Of course, Stephen A. Smith, who... At the same time that we just found out that Ed Werder's contract is not being renewed as they've gone through and they've had to let go a lot of talent, that Stephen A. Smith is in a unique position to say, you know what, I'm getting paid a whole lot of money. Maybe I could take less so we can hold on to some of these other people. But Stephen A., I I don't seem to hear you saying that because I think what I've heard you say is, I'm the one that brings the people into ESPN. I'm the showstopper. I want to get paid. But let's listen to what they had to say. I don't play for money. Never have, never cared for it, to be honest with you. Um, Yeah, would give it up to just to play this game. So I allow that to to the business people to to say what it's worth, what they're supposed to give a quarterback of my play. Um, person of my play, leader of my play, I guess you can say. And for me, it's about, as I said, control. I can control and handle that part, and the rest will take care of itself. Mm. Stephen A., it's so hard not to root for him. Such a likable guy. Damian Woody gracing your screen. I got Kimberly A. Martin in the flesh. Hello, hey, girl. Hello. Stephen A., what do you think about what Dak just had to say? He doesn't think about the money. Well, I, I just want to thank him. Um, you know, I woke up this morning, you know, learning <laughs> – you know, about what Draymond Green had to say, and I was utterly disgusted. And then I saw what Dak Prescott had to say, and it made me laugh. I needed the comedy. I really, really needed that this morning. And sure enough, he provided it to me because I thought it was utterly ridiculous what he had to say. I want you to understand that among active quarterbacks in the National Football League, Dak Prescott is sixth in career earnings. He has earned $196.3 million dollars. He's never played in the conference championship game. He's never played in the Super Bowl. Hasn't been able to get his team that far. He's been in the league for nine years, and that's what he's got. Now, we got Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford, Russell Wilson, Kirk Cousins, and Jared Goff, who all have have more career earnings uh, than than, uh, uh, Dak Prescott. Uh, Everybody, every single one of them have either won a Super Bowl or have been to the Super Bowl outside of him and Kirk Cousins. So let's get that out of the way. Secondly, you talk about not playing for money, not playing for money. Well, you know what? That's music. To, that should be music to CeeDee Lamb's ears. It should be music to Michael Parsons' ears. Because Dak Prescott, if you take less, like some other great quarterbacks have done in the past, then there would be more money for the other guys. Now, I'm not advocating that you do that because I don't want to be in anybody's pocket. You know, you got your own bills. To pay you and all you are in his pocket. Remember to take care of other people, blah, blah, blah. I got all of that. I'm just theoretically speaking. 
we know for a fact, Kimberly, the great job that you do covering the NFL, Damian Woody, the Super Bowl champion that you are in the NFL, am I speaking out of pocket when I say there have been a plethora of quarterbacks in the Pressle. National Football League who have taken less than what they deserve to make sure that other dudes can get some money? Am I right in saying that? Nope. Yes or no? I just need... A plethora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, that doesn't mean many, yeah. but that means that that doesn't mean many. That does, 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 it means more it than many, a couple. It literally means, it means many. Bro. Bro. It means many. It means many. What? What? Come what? The last oh, one was Tom Brady. I, I, I know we're not. But a lot since then, then have my vocabulary. I'm just sitting. Right, I'm, I'm not being. I'm getting the definition. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's make sure that let's calm down now. Le- my leave point is. All you want. My, my my point is an excessive quantity. The definition is an excessive quantity. Yes. 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 I understand that. My point is... You can't name anybody other than Tom Brady. There hasn't been that in the National Football League at the quarterback position? An excessive quantity? Excuse me. There has been. There no, has there been. haven't. Now, I'll bring up Tom Brady. I'll bring up a few others if you want me to. But in the end, we'll just talk about the quarterback position. I'm simply saying, to say this, while C.D. Lamb and Michael Parsons are looking to get paid, okay, and one could easily argue that they, are, they have proven to be far more worthy of the money than he has at the quarterback position because of his performance in the playoffs. I'm just looking at Dak Prescott, and I'm like... Wait a minute. Mikey Parsons has been in four playoff games and has got one sack. CeeDee Lamb dropped two passes early in the playoff game. Yo, really? Okay, fine. Go out there and prove it. You know, you got a contract coming up. They talking about you getting $60 million a year. Why don't you take 55? Why don't you take 53? Make sure that, that – and, and go like this. I'll take less <clears throat> if you promise me that Mike and CD going to get this. How about that? I'd like to see him do it. And should I – all right. Um, not a plethora. There have been a few guys. Um, Dak I, – I, I, there were a lot of things Dak said yesterday that I liked. Confident Dak. It's the offseason. Dak is showing us his personality. I'm all for it. But one thing I need, one thing about me, we're not, we shouldn't be paying, playing for free. Like that, that's just, like, I, I don't understand him saying that, especially now being that his contract situation is what it is. Cause if he was gonna play for free, he should have signed up already. He should have signed a mm-hmm. deal now. Let's get those other guys locked up. So it's, I agree with you, Stephen A, in that it sounds silly. It mm-hmm. sounds nice to hear, but it's not reality. Because we because one thing Dak also said was, I'll let the business people figure out what a guy of my play is worth. But clearly, over the last couple off seasons, watching, hearing Dak, based on the fact that he finished second in the MVP race, the fact that he led the league in touchdowns, the fact that he's about to be a free agent next season if they don't lock him up, other guys would have been taken care of. So we obviously yep. know that Dak wants to get more money. He's already been paid a ton of money, but I don't fault him for that. Because one thing about this NFL, if you're a player with leverage, use it. Because these teams will use their leverage. So I don't like him you. trying to get more. I don't like him. Okay. I, I hope this is the right clip because I'm doing this kind of uh, unbeknownst. But this was just um, about six months ago, I think, if this is the right clip. About 2019 pinned a five year, $60 million contract with ESPN, and rightfully so. It can be argued that he's been the face of the franchise over the last decade or so, especially when Skip Bayless left the organization for FS1 in 2016. The guy is everywhere on sports TV with his debate show First Take, covering the NBA, and now has his own show on YouTube, The Stephen A. Smith Show. Anyways, recently he joined OutKick's Clay Travis for an interview covering a wide variety of topics from his personal life, sports, politics, and his future with ESPN. Have a listen to what he had to say about his upcoming contract with the worldwide leader in sports. But here's the thing. I've changed. I've changed for the better. I grew up. And more importantly, I've mastered my own business. In the world of sports television, Clay Travis, I've been number one for 12 years. Come April 1st, we're marked yep. 12 consecutive years. I've been number one. And not only have I been number one every year, I've been number one every week and every month of every year for the last 12 years. You don't get to say that about too many people. Um, I look at 
whether it's Pat McAfee, it's Mike Greenberg, it's Scott Van Pelt, it's Troy Aikman, it's Joe Buck, it's Kirk Herb Street. The list goes on and on. I'm so honored to have the colleagues that I have that I work with at ESPN every day. I look at other people in the business. I got a bunch of friends at FS1. You know what? Michael Irvin's there, Keyshawn Skip, uh, Richard Sherman, Rob Parker, Chris Boussard. The list goes on and on. Even LaShawn McCoy and Emmanuel Acho and, and Joy Taylor with her fabulous self. The list goes on and on and on. But let me tell you something. I'm the one that's been number one. And at the end of the day, it would be nice for one day for this man to stand before everyone and be like, this is not I'm number one. And this says I'm number one. Now, one would argue that that may have been the case years ago before because I got my money and then Troy Aikman. I'm sorry, not Troy Aikman. The Tony Romo got his from CBS or whatever the case may be. But I'm not just a talent. I'm a business. I have my own production company. Like you said, I've got my own YouTube channel. I've got my own show. It's not even just a podcast. It's a show with a fully loaded television studio. That's what I built for myself. You know, that can go linear or digital. The list goes on and on. I'm doing all of these things. I'm not doing all of that to be in second place. I'm not doing all of that to look up at somebody else and see that they're making more than me when I'm producing superior ratings and revenue. No, I'm not doing that. And I'm not apologizing for anybody for it. So it's not. Um, I've been treated incredibly well by ESPN. I expect to continue to be well treated well by ESPN. Again, I've got great relationships and what have you, but this is a business and Disney has a right to run its business the way it sees fit. ESPN does as well. But if they do, so do I. I so <coughs> with that being said, <coughs> how are you then going to tell somebody else that they should take less? Because we see that your organization is in free fall. Like I said, Ed Werder was just let go along with a multitude of others on your platform. So you've said you've been number one for 12 years. You've, you know, you, you want to be paid like you are number one and respected. So why can't Dak Prescott have the same thing? I'm just saying, just saying. Those who live in glass houses should not cast the first stone. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm going to 